Um, so thanks for coming. This is uh, crazy because uh, you're here at Google looking at me. Um, all right, so um, I can't see any of you, which is probably good. Um, so, okay, before I get into this particular show, I just want to give you a quick little um, backstory of kind of where this idea comes from. So years and years ago, I did this short film, this animated short film called Battle of the Album Covers. And the idea um, behind this film was um, I took um, pretty much all of your famous uh, album covers and had them all fight each other. So in the, in the film, um, Billy Joel throws the first stone on his cover of the album Glass Houses. And the rock goes through the window and it hits the mannequins and Yaz's album cover of Upstairs at Eric's. And it just, like, a battle ensues. Um, in fact, you know what? Why don't we play that film first so you can kind of get a taste of kind of why I love albums so much. So let's, let's watch this film and then I'll come back. I'm out of here. Dude, get me out of here. Hey, Daddy, there's somebody stuck in there. That's okay, honey. It's just Sean Cassidy. What you got against Sean Cassidy? What you got against this? Ooh. Oh, man. Can I get a cheeseburger? Oh. that up there? All right, so that was, um, liked it? All right, so that was basically, I did that about 10 years ago, and, um, um, and the majority of those albums are actually my albums. And uh, it was a really, uh, it was a, an idea I had since I was 16 when I was like lying my albums on my, you know, my bedroom floor. And, and I'm like, you know what? That album could fight with that album, and that guy would fight that guy. And suddenly it just, you know, became an idea. So, in fact, um, can we go to the slides real quick? Um, I'm going to show you a picture of my bedroom when I was 16 years old. That's, that's, how, it, that's how it looked. It was very empty. So this is my room when I was 16. Um, and um, I mean, you know, like for me, I, I, I really, when I discovered music and, and I really discovered um, all the things that came with music, like the albums, um, the posters, the stickers, the flyers. I mean, I was obsessed. And, you know, I, I always say that for me, record stores were my first art galleries because it's all the things I loved in one place. And I thought it was just so inspiring. Um, so, um, 
you know, I mean, I'm sure you guys remember these stores when you were growing up or, you know, if some of them are still around. But these were like my, this was just, it felt like home every time I was in this place. Um, and so this is where I grew up, in Rancho Cucamonga. Um, I've got one high school friend here, two high school friends here. Who's? Best pilot ever. Best, oh yeah. So I'll get to that, I'll get to that. But, um, you know, that was, that was basically, this was my childhood. And I think that what I liked about where we grew up was that there was so much, um, uh, there was so much time with nothing to do, and I think that a lot of, I think, uh, the, the music really seemed to fill that world. Everything seemed to have a soundtrack when we were growing up. Um, and before I go any further, I just wanted to, um, so the, one of the best things growing up um, uh, when I was a kid was this show called Dr. Demento, which was on K-Rock. And Dr. Demento turned me on to such great artists as Weird Al Yankovic. Um, and there was, uh, there was another great, artist back then that was called Barnes and Barnes. I don't know if you ever heard of them. They did this really cool video um, um, for this song called Fish Heads. Have you ever heard you guys know that song? If you don't know it, you could look it up. Um, and this is, for me, this was like the two things I loved the most in the world, music and comedy. And I thought, this is, there's something here. And I love that these artists were already doing it. So I, I just want to give a shout out to some of the best band names I've ever heard of. Um, Scritti Politti, Blamage, Sig Sig Sputnik, Poi Dog Pondering. I mean, Poi Dog Pondering. Where does that come from? Oingo Boingo, which is also one of the coolest album covers, I would say. Um, and my favorite, I Love You But I've Chosen Darkness. That's a real band. I don't know, I've seen them in concert just so I could buy the shirt. Um, so I started making my own album covers. I'm like, you know what? This is everything I want to do. So these are just some of the album covers I started making. And suddenly, every single photograph I took, every single illustration I did, every single doodle I sketched became an album cover. And now nothing is like kind of sacred. I will make an album cover with anything. And suddenly, everywhere I go and everything I read and every like text I seem to get seems to be a band title. It seems to be the coolest name for a band. And now I'm like, Everything I do is about just this. I will, I, I probably make an album probably at every meal now just because I can't help it. Um, so, okay. Now, now for the best part. So the music. So I had this, I, okay, so Jared, I met Jared about um, 10 years ago. Maybe, no, six years ago. It's been a while. Um, because, this is how I met Jared. I met Jared because I did an animated TV pilot for Fox that Jared and Jingle Punk scored. Um, it was called, funny enough, Rancho Cucamonga, which goes back to exactly where I come from. So the, the pilot was basically about an Indian family growing up in Cucamonga, and Jared happened to be the um, brilliant guy who brought, it, uh, brought the music to life. So I said to Jared, you know, listen, I have this crazy idea called Rohit Records, and I need uh, musicians, and you're awesome and funny and cool. Why don't you do some music? And Jared goes, we actually happen to have a bunch of music lying around. Why don't we just work on it? And then we started talking about it, and that became now what's going to be the Rohit Records Greatest Hits Volume 1 LP, which is coming out. Actually, it came, it's done today. Today was the day the press was finished, so it actually will be released in about a week. Um, and we're selling this album. If you want to pre-buy this album, talk to me or Jared. We'll figure it out. Uh, but this is, the, this is what this has become. Now we have music to go along those crazy album covers. So... Tonight, you're going to see six one-hit wonder bands of Rohit Records. They are going to rock your socks off, as only the Rohit Records label musicians can. Uh, <laughs> uh, don't you like that I wrote all this down somewhere, and I didn't even read any of it? I didn't, need, I didn't even need this. This, this. this doesn't even matter. Um, all right, so... Um, Oh, you're awesome, whoever said that. Um, I can't see anything. I just see, like, the time, which says I should get off. So, um, do you want to, are you going to come on now, or are you going to come on in a minute? Should I announce the band? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I'll just leave this up here. This is the first song of the first band that's going to come up tonight. And I made an album cover for each of these bands. So this is the album cover for the first band called Del Boca Vista. 
and they're going to kick it off. So, um, and as, as they play, I'm going to show you the rest of the album covers. So thanks for coming. I appreciate your time. Thanks for coming all the way to Venice on a Friday night. Um, I hope you have a good time.